AFCON 2023 and the DRC are through to the semi-finals of AFCON 2023 after beating Guinea 3-1 in fine fashion. I mean, like, yo, this is the closest thing to an East African team reaching this far. So we're just going to help them and praise them. Where are they from, by the way? Central Africa. Is there a thing like Central Africa? There's West, North, South, and East, anyway. We'll just see. We'll call them our neighbors. We'll claim them. Ah, you are claimed. You don't have a choice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the first half, I mean, the game didn't start. It wasn't that. It was just like two teams really just trying to see, like, where they're at. Until the boy Chancel Mbemba, former Newcastle man, decided to, he's just going to foul someone in the in the D. And, um, I mean, it was a very clear and obvious foul. Uh, Bayo got the penalty, slotted it in effortlessly. And at that point, you're like, hey, Guinea are going to run away with this. Because one of the biggest issues DRC have is that they create chances, but they don't finish them. But, but, not long after that, this man got a corner. It was a set piece. It was like, I think, three, four minutes after. Ball came in to Chancel Mbemba, who had the chance to redeem himself. And boy, did he redeem himself because that finish, that's a striker's finish. That is what strikers need to be doing. Near post finish, high, like the keeper just didn't have a chance. Again, you, I mean, you must blame the keeper because it's in his, in his near post. But I don't think he expected that. Off his left foot as well, like that is weaker foot. Like it was such an, a dope finish. And I think how soon they equalized really helped them get back into this game as soon as possible. Um, and obviously they went into halftime 1-1. They were high on confidence, but at that point, the game was just a bit balanced. Um, one thing I realized is that DRC were quite dangerous on set pieces. If you guys watched my prediction, I said Maswaku needed to get his set pieces a bit better. His short selection and how he was shooting was just a bit wayward. And the boy actually did it, and we'll just get there shortly. Um, Nabi Keita had a nice through ball to... Ah, who's that number 25 for Mali? I've forgotten his name. For, so for Guinea, um, I need to check his name. Yeah, it, like it was a really nice through ball, and it they've broken now. Two people have broken on, uh, um, are breaking on and going one on one with the keeper. I think the ball kind of just came in a weird position because I'm sure he was trying to lay it off. He didn't get that enough of the ball, and just the touch that he he had, like just kind of went around the keeper, but it allowed the defender to come and clear. Um, I will tell you who his name is shortly, 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 shortly. It was Conte. It was fascinated Conte, the teenager who came on for Silla. Yes? Yeah. 18 year old plays at Bastia in France. So yeah, he just didn't get enough on it and couldn't get past the keeper. And then it was cleared. And then literally like a few minutes later, the DRC just break into the other half. And it almost it it seemed innocuous. Like Silas was just going, just just going. But Genevier just uh, had other other Genevier. It's actually not Genevier. Genevier. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It was inadvertent. It, it, like he didn't actually. I don't think it was intentional. But it's in the D and it's a trip. So it, the penalty has to be given. Stepped up the man, Johan Visa from Brentford, slotted it in without without fuss. It was a really good penalty, slotted to the left. Like it was the keeper went the right direction, but really couldn't get to it. And at that point, you're like, eh, 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 DRC might be on to something. 69th minute, Guinea bring on Girassi to come and sort of change the game. I think he's had a very mid-tournament. Like he's just not really impacted the tournament that well. But also, big reason is because of his injury. So it's really hard to blame the man. Um, then uh, Bakambu was taken off. DLC brought on Banza. Banza, to me, I think, did very well in terms of game management, just holding the play up. He was quite strong. He would go up against two, three Guinea players, like winning uh, free kicks high up the field. And that really helped them just push up, right? And ag again, through that is how they actually got the break. And um, I think they were attacking on the wing. I couldn't remember who blocked someone, but it was just a stupid foul. Like, you just went and blocked the guy and got the foul. And stepped up the man, Maswaku, the man who I wished, like, he just got his set pieces right. Again, I say this over and over again in the, in the prediction. The man got it spot on, and he saw the keeper was just slacking. Like, first of all, as a keeper, if you're scored from that area... Even that keeper and the one who Bebe scored from, from 40 yards, like, there's some things, guys. Like, there's some things. Ibrahim Makone, like, how are you scored on the inside of your post? The guy is shooting from the wing almost close to the corner flag. But Maswaku actually saw it. He saw him sleep. He saw him sleeping and slipping. So, 
He just like swapped the ball to that side and whatever touch he got would have just gone in. And that's exactly what he did. And that made it through. And at that point, you're like, yo, DRC are going through. Like it was such a surreal moment, you know. This is the first game they've actually won in regulation because they drew all the three games in the group stages. Um, round of 16, they went to penalties after they drew and then went to penalties. Um, so this was the game where I feel like they actually took their chances. Like some chances were quite difficult, to be honest. The first goal by... Um, by um, Mbemba was quite difficult. This free kick was quite difficult. Like those are shots of low XG. But the boys did it and they scored and they took their chances. The one thing that we said they needed to do, right? So Diasia to the semi-final. This is insane. Like they are just yo. Like it's 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 just a, such a surreal moment for them. Uh, first time I think making the semi-finals. Now they will meet the winner of uh, Mali versus Cote d'Ivoire, which means they are assured of at least a third, fourth spot of Afcon. So this is definitely their best performance ever. And it's funny to think that they have Baswaku, Kakuta doesn't didn't even play. He wasn't fit. They still have they have Bak- Bakambu. They have Yuan Visa. Um, they have uh, Bongonda, and they would have even had one Bisaka. You know, like it's like the team is is stacked. So yeah, congratulations to the DRC. You guys are to the semifinals. We have claimed you as East Africans, and we will see you tomorrow. Mali play Cote d'Ivoire, and uh, Capo Verde play the Bafana Bafana. We shall see you guys. Peace.